Yeah, for example, this is one of the page, one of the test page. So I'm just testing that the page looks exactly the same uh, without the styling. Uh, because also I want to be able to change the styling if I want to. So this is the, how the page looks like with default, uh, uh, the default flutter styling. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, all the goldens, for example. So another one. Edit, add, adjust. So this is the default font as well. Uh, this is the this is the default font used by uh, Flutter in the goldens. So this is to avoid that. Um, sometimes you might have a few pixels of difference between the way the operating system runs the font. Um, so this is uh, to prevent this kind of uh, issues. So how does this test actually work? So it looks like you're using, um, I've never seen this before in Flutter, but it kind of reminds me of like React where you can render a component and then basically check to see if the yeah, render exactly. is exactly the same, right? Is this a I'm going to dive into the code, yeah. So you're using a PNG, so PNG gets Yeah, exactly, right? that's it. So for example, this yeah, is please. one of the, one of the tests uh, of uh, adjustment. Uh, so basically I do all my uh, business logic here. Uh, and then, uh, where is it? Uh, oh no, I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> one second. Yeah, no, no, this is the wrong one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this is a good one. Uh, so for here, for example, I just boot up my widget with all the details I want to, uh, to test here. And this is uh, then after you just check the screen, if the screen match is golden with a, uh, this is the file name, yeah. And then Flutter uh, does the checks if the file looks the same, yeah. And you have an option on the command line to erase the file and create a new one if it's necessary. Uh, so this is the, the one we just seen before, yeah. So this, this is what uh, is being produced by Flutter. And this is where you, you, you check the, in the code that it looks the same. Um, in order to do this, you need also uh, an architecture which uh, allows you to uh, to build uh, screens per widgets. So that you, you need to avoid some dependent states as well. So the best is that if you can boot up a widget, test it and see if it works. And so no need to set up too, too much uh, uh, too much uh, on your app, yeah. So this is, for example, on this financial statement page, uh, the page we've just seen before. It accepts um, the uh, financial statement object, uh, which is the, in real life what's uh, what's happening in the app, yeah. Uh, the database just uh, just spits me out this object and then I render it. And what happens is that in the test you can just put all of this, like get uh, a JSON equivalent of what you want, and then do a screenshot. And uh, use the use this as a as a uh, as a data mockup data. Don't know if that's clear. If that's clear enough, if you have any questions on this. Okay, this is pretty cool. I've actually never seen this before within Flutter. So it looks like I think you're using Golden Toolkit. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. The, I'm the using testing? the Golden uh, op. Yeah, Golden Toolkit here. Okay, why, why did you decide to use this one rather than just the default testing within? Uh, because Flutter? this one enables me to do uh, font rendering. Uh, the default one in Flutter doesn't doesn't support this. Oh, at least it didn't when uh, when uh, I've used uh, this one. Uh, maybe it does now. I, I have no idea actually, but uh, I've used this one at the time because of this. 